Good day! I'm Camille M. Macanilao, third year student nurse from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. And today, I will show you a procedure on how to use pulse oximeter. The goal of this procedure is for the patient to exhibit arterial blood oxygen saturation within acceptable parameters or greater than 95%. For the equipment, we have the pulse oximeter, acetone or nail polish remover if needed, last are the pen and vital sign flow sheet or electronic health record. For the implementation, review chart for any health problems that could affect the patient's oxygenation status such as COPD, pneumonia, lung cancer, and asthma. And bring necessary equipment to the bedside stand or overbed table. Perform hand hygiene and put on personal protective equipment if indicated. Since this procedure is not invasive, therefore it is not necessary to use PPE such as gloves. Then identify the patient by looking into the door tag names, bedside name tag, and wrist tag, or we can just simply ask the patient. Hello po, ano po ang pangalan nyo? Ang pangalan ko po ay Carmela Batambak. The next procedure is to close the curtains around bed and close the door to the room, if possible. But then again, it is a non-invasive procedure, so we can use ourselves as a cover. After that, explain to the patient what you are going to do and why you are going to do it. Kukuhanan ko po kayo ng oxygen saturation. Ang oxygen saturation po ay ang sapat na daloy ng oxygen na ibinibigay sa inyong katawan. Gagamit po tayo nitong pulse oximeter. Huwag po kayo mag-alala dahil hindi naman po ito masakit. Ilalagay lang po natin yung inyong daliri sa, sa gitna po nito para po malaman natin kung normal po ba o sapat ang daloy ng oxygen sa, sa inyong katawan. Then select an adequate site for application of the sensor. We can use the patient's index, middle, or ring finger. Check the proximal pulse and capillary fill at the pulse closest to the site. If circulation at the site is inadequate, consider using the earlobe, the forehead, or the bridge of the nose. Use a toe only if lower extremity circulation is not compromised. The next step is to select proper equipment. The equipment we are going to use is this pulse of center. First is prepare the monitoring site by cleansing the selected area with the alcohol wipe or disposable cleansing cloth. Allow the area to dry and if necessary, remove nail polish and artificial nails. Since the patient has no nail polish, we will not use nail polish remover or acetone. Next is to turn on the oximeter. Insert patient's index finger to check the oxygen saturation and the pulse rate. Make sure that the light emitting sensor and the light receiving sensor are aligned opposite each other to have an accurate result. Check oxygen saturation at regular intervals as ordered by primary care provider, nursing assessment, and signaled by alarms. With 
get a 99 oxygen saturation and 74 pulse rate. Remove pulse oximeter and check for skin irritation or signs of pressure. Then, clean non-disposable sensors according to the manufacturer's direction. Remove PPE if used, perform hand hygiene, and document all the procedures into the vital sign flow sheet or in the electronic health record. And that's how we use the pulse oximeter. Thank you for watching!